M0FXB, welcome to my beginner's guide on the Yesu FT818 or 817, virtually identical. The 818 does have 6 watts output when connected to an external power supply. And also, there's a few more colour changing options with the 817 ND and the 818. But really, they're, they're virtually the same. So let's just do the basics. Now, notice there's a BNC antenna connector at the front here. And if we turn this device all the way around, now I have got some brackets on mine so for standing up, you don't normally get them. But there's the microphone connector, speaker connector, and you can choose speaker or headphones there. In the back, you've got the data stroke cap connectors. So these are very handy for WSJTX and um, external sound cards. You've got ACC data and then your Kia for Morse code ground and then your normal you know, 12 volt input there. You don't need a high, you know, I would say probably a 10 amp will be plenty, but I, I always use 30 amp power supplies, SO239, and you can receive all of the bands on this shack in the box from either antenna, whether it's HF, VHF, UHF, airband, PMR, all that, it will all go through this antenna, which I think is one of the strongest points. And you've got the, the speaker on, on top there. Loads of spare parts for these, for these radios. Even though they've been around many, many years, you'll get spare parts easily. So to get this running, we're just going to connect the HF antenna on the rear at the moment. And then we're going to show you which menu to select for the front and the back. We have connected our external power supply, which is good. It goes into charging straight away, which you can set. And yes, this set and the 897D has internal batteries as well. So we just turn it on with the power here. And look, straight away. Let's just lower that volume. Sounds great. I've actually got my external, um, should I say my desktop microphone connected to this device. It does come with the MH32 microphone. You've got up and down buttons, fast, fast tuning as well. The antenna I'm using is a 49 to 1 ballon with a 66 foot length of wire. And you can go as this station cues. And power wise, if we just hold down and go to 75, I believe. Let's have a look. I just so as me comparing it to my 857, you just briefly press the F button, you get the short selections here, and here's your power here. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo receiving you. No, just a quick shout, you know, just for fun. Anyway, let's go through the basics. We'll turn it right down. So, you've got volume here. In the background, we've got the squelch, and you can change that between RF gain and squelch. To, hold, to go into the main menu, you hold down the F, and then you can just turn this knob here. So let's go to, look at the numbers here, go to number one, I'll just quickly go through. So number one, what ARS, 430 ARS. Number three is your 9600 uh, board rate. We'll go through them all. Disable AM, FM, AM mic gain, AM frequency step. Here it is, rear antennas number seven, and you just choose with your VFO. So this changes the frequency here, but you can use this to change the frequency as well. So we've got front and we want rear antenna. So if we leave it in that setting there and turn up the volume, there's the rear antenna, front it's gone. But the great thing about the front antenna, and this radio does come with a, a rubber duck, is that you can just put your BNC rubber duck on there, you can have an adapter. It's very convenient for carrying the radio around and be able to look at the display and make changes and selections with the antenna poking up. It's, it's very convenient. One, I think one of the best features. So anyway, keep going. Power off time. ARTS beep, you know, look, we, I'll do separate videos on ARTS. It's about sending out a DCS code 
and then you can sort of track each other in, in the woods sort of thing. Auto backlight, battery charge, how many hours you want it to charge before it stops. Uh, beep frequency, beep volume, cat rate for when you're doing, you know, cat control. And then colour, changing the colours, you can see there. I think, yeah, I think for camera, I think let's leave it on purple. Okay, and then keep going. Contrast, so you can turn it up. It makes it darker. You get the lines in the back when you make it darker, but it does, the text is clearer. Delay, so CW settings. There's your DTS code that you'd use for that ARTS. A digital mic settings, packet radio, WSJTX, all that kind of stuff works great. FM frequency step, that's the gap between the channels when you're on FM. Memory setting, I'm just going to zoom through now, I'll be here all day. The frequency uh, shift, the, the shift amount, so it could be 1.6, could be 0 0.60, could be 7.6, depends what, what repeater you're using. Oh yes, there is a scope in this, uh, so that's the, it's the steps between the scope. It's a very basic scope, but it does work. AM step, FM step, yes, it does do airband very well, this radio. Extended menu. And then back to the beginning. So if we come out, and if we briefly press the F button, like so, you've got Vox settings. These are selected with the ABC. And if you hold down these and turn on the radio, I believe it goes into service mode. But anyway, um, charging. So you can tell it whether you want it to charge when the when the external supply is connected or, or not. It's up to you. Brief press. Voltage. Press again, and then display large and small, which is, I think, quite good that it does that. Keep going. A, B, so VFO A, VFO B, A to B, split mode. Memory right, if you want to add a memory, say we want to add this, you just press, and then choose the empty channel. You can see when it's empty because it's blank, and then just press again. And then you can now turn this knob moving to the right and add add a name. And when you're done, just press again. And when you go into memory mode, so here is the VFO and memory mode. There's memory. You'll be able to cycle through your memory channels. If you press VFO is where you can actually type and enter different frequencies in. Um, when you're in memory mode, you can only choose channels that you've, you've created. There is a lock button here as well. When you press that, it, the VFO won't change, which is very handy. LED for receive and transmit, as you can see. So we've got a green LED on receive, red on transmit. At the top, we've got the mode and the band. So the mode is changing things like AM, FM. So if we come out, it says digi mode, packet, LSB, upper sideband, CW, CW reverse. AM and FM. Okay, so all the modes are there. And then if you go through the different bands, and this radio covers several bands, so that's 70 centimeter band. Keep going up. 1.8, what we call top band, HF, 80 meters, 40 meters, 10 megahertz. And, and if you, you can actually open these up for CB, now this one isn't opened up, but you can. And in, within all bands and modes, you can select. You know, AM and FM, upper sideband, so you can do two meter sideband, no problem at all. You've also got, when you're in the HF bands, if we go down, that's a HF band, hit the clarifier button just here, and then you can adjust the, the you can fine tune. And then when you press it again, it goes, but you need to just remember where you left it, okay? But that's your fine tuning. The squelch here, and then remember the menu for the, RF gain and the squelch in the settings. So in HF, I would use the RF gain setting, and in AM FM, I would use the squelch. Let's do some airband. Let's airband, and then if you press this button, you get larger one megahertz increments. Press it, and then go to 850. So now we're at, and then we need to go to AM. And we should, in theory, Get some air band. Let's have a look. So we've flown your engine now. Can you still confirm the uh, grid push of the bus? Engine 
97 Pappas, and uh, 3 2 push back and start up the three. Sounds great, doesn't it? And then if you want, you can go to Marine Band. Go up and just press, go to 156. Does it do Marine? Mm, not, not quite, I think. Very close, though. 156. How about PMR? 446. Yes, I would say it does receive PMR. And, of course, back to the HF bands. And when you've got the DC external power source connected, you'll get the full 5 or 6 watts. But disconnected, I think you just get a couple of watts, just bear that in mind. This is a QRP radio, so a very low power device. Uh, yeah, it was just a quick call. Uh, Dolph, say hello, and uh, I'm going to go But there is something satisfying break, about QRP. Let's see if we can change the colour. That does look better on camera, doesn't it? It's a pure joy to, to use. Remember, most of the time we're actually all listening. So it's very convenient. You can move it around. It comes with a leather case. A couple of antennas. You've got the six meter antenna adapter. <coughs> repeater settings so if you're doing a repeater you go minus and plus you can hit your tone tone frequency as well scanning dual watch as well you can add a memory channel and it will quickly go to that ipo which i think works quite well narrow mode for fm Continuation, noise blanker, there's your power, break in for your Kia, for CW, there's that large display, which is good. If we press this, if you change the step, go hold, and look for SSB step. Look under S, there it is there, change that to 1, then back out, what, remember 140 there, but we can tune, it's a small screen but it's very usable. Notice it doesn't show the mode when you're in the large display. Sounds funny that station. Don't know what mode he's transmitting in. And you can use something like the signal link to do WSJTX. I'll make a video doing it anyway. You just plug it cable into the, the, rear, the rear data connector, uh, which goes to a box, uh, and then that connects to your PC. And you can do FTA, no problem at all. It's QRP FTA, but you can do it. So hopefully this will help you get started. You know, the basics are the sort of start beginning. Volume, squelch, channel change, VFO change as well, up and down mode up and down the bands, short press F for the sub menu, long press for the main settings menu, VFO memory for memory and VFO channels, lock, uh, power on off, and uh, clarifier. And yes, you can charge the battery. This unit will charge the battery. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now. Beginner learning on the 818817.